today's story is called I Am The Gate. When Jesus was on earth, he spent a lot of time talking to all of the people. Some people really loved listening to Jesus and were really keen to hear all of the things that he had to tell them. The story that I'm going to tell you today comes from the New Testament part of the Bible. So this is once Jesus had come into the world and it is in a book called John. Jesus had been really busy healing lots of people. He had made people who couldn't see, see again. He, could, he had made people who couldn't walk, be able to walk again. And people who couldn't hear, he made them be able to hear again. He was doing some amazing things and this meant that lots of people were really interested in the things that he was doing. And people began to ask questions about who Jesus was. One day, Jesus was talking to all of the people and he said to them, I am the gate. Now that sounded very strange. What did it mean that Jesus was the gate? So Jesus tried to explain to them. Jesus said that he was like a shepherd and that we were all like his sheep. Now, in Bible days, it was quite common that the king, the king of the people, would be called like the shepherd and that his job was to look after all of his sheep. So it's like all the people were the sheep. Now the shepherd's job was to look after them, but the sheep's job was to recognise the sound of their leader's voice. So the people would hear what the person in charge, the king in charge had to say, and they would listen to him and they would follow him and they would recognise his voice. And everything that he said would, they would need to do, the, the people or the sheep would do. So in this story, Jesus, calls himself the gate for the sheep. Now this does sound a bit strange, doesn't it? How could Jesus be a gate? Well, in these days, in the Bible days, and actually in some places today, they had in their communities what they would call a sheep pen, because there were lots of sheep that would be looked after by shepherds and lots of places would have a sheep pen like this and it wasn't just a small pen it had very high walls so the sides of the pen were really really tall and even taller than this is at night time all of the sheep that belonged to the shepherds would go into the pen. Now this would make sure that all of the sheep were nice and safe at night time because at night time that is when there would be thieves around who would come and try and steal the sheep. But because the walls were so high, the thieves could not get over them. And then what would happen is just here, where it is the gate to the pen, there would be a shepherd. And the shepherd would stand and they would guard the pen all night long. They wouldn't get any sleep. They would be up watching to make sure that the sheep were nice and safe. Now, then what would happen is the very next day, 
all of the shepherds in the, t in the land would come and get their sheep and they would take the sheep out. But the first thing they'd do is they would call their sheep and they would call them and the sheep would recognise their voices and the sheep that belonged to them would come running out to their shepherds knowing that they would be nice and safe with their shepherd all day long until it was time to return back to the pen at night time. So this would happen every single day. And what would happen is during the daytime, the shepherds would be out in the fields. Let's pop Jesus there. Jesus would be, oh, Jesus would be up there. The shepherds would be out in the fields with their sheep. And they would let the sheep go off on little adventures and they would just stand just there to make sure that they could see that the sheep were safe and the sheep could go wherever they wanted. They could eat this lovely green grass and it was so yummy. But all of the time, the shepherd would be keeping a watchful eye to make sure that his sheep were nice and safe. And if you wanted to, you could come and check with the shepherd that you were in the right place. You could come and stand close by if you wanted to, or you could wander off and you could be nice and safe eating the lovely green grass. But if you felt like you were worried or you were frightened or you needed somewhere safer to go, you could come close by the shepherd and walk past him and go back into the safety of the pen. And there might be a place where you have a rest or a little, little sleep maybe, but it would be the safest place. And you would be led there past the shepherd who was standing at the gate. So in this story, Jesus is showing us what life would be like with him. So if we change our shepherd for Jesus and we put him at the gate, we can remember that Jesus is like the shepherd and we are like the sheep. Jesus stands at the gate. He gives us a place when we are close with him where we can go and be nice and safe, just like this big pen. When we're close to Jesus and we want to spend time with him, we can go into a pen, just like the sheep. As long as we come through Jesus, so we go past Jesus and we stay close to him and we don't look for other ways to get into the pen or to go out into the pastures, then Jesus can be sure that he is always going to be close by. Jesus doesn't want us to be living in places that aren't close to him. He doesn't want us to be going round the back and trying to get into places that we think are going to be safe for us, where we might fall down and hurt ourselves. Jesus wants us to come the right way, which would to be close to him. Jesus knows that if we are outside of here and we are round here, this is where maybe some broken love things happen. And he wants us to stay close to him so that he can help us. Even if broken love things do come our way. Jesus wants us to remember him in everything so that we can be close to him all the time. If we use other ways to get about, remember, like trying to climb the walls like the thieves did, then we might not be our safest because we're not choosing to be near Jesus. So he might not see us over here if we fall down. We need to remember that we live in a world that has broken love in it. 
And staying close to Jesus means that he can help us even better if broken love things come our way. Jesus knows that all we need, no matter what, is to be close to him. He is waiting to help us, just like he waits at the gate. Just like the sheep, he can be there to be close to us and look after us. Remember this card that God promises us one day that the world will be a really good and happy place with no broken love. Jesus can bring that now through his love and his promise and his Holy Spirit. All of those things, he can be really close at hand to help us.